Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be working on the caddy. We're going to get it uh, prepped up a little bit more so it, uh, we can test fit the engine in it one more time. One thing I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this front grill off. As you can see over on this side it looks like it is, uh, it's been hit by something at some point in time. So uh, I'm hoping that whenever I take it apart I'll be able to put it back together and straighten everything out. But one thing that we've already done is that we went ahead and cut out our core support, our top bracket of our core support. We did that because uh, whenever we test fitted it, it was just a little bit too long. So when we test fitted the engine, we took a look at um, where it was kind of sitting and it looks like it was right, kind of like right in this hump area and uh, we're going to need to do something with that. We're probably going to have to do some cutting and it looks like that this piece is just it looks like it's going to be sitting right about right here so we're going to need to kind of cut that out and um, reposition it put some flat plate in because it needs to go down as you can see that's a little bit of a hump we need it to cut it off and make it kind of flush so we're going to have to mess around with that a little bit but for right now we're just going to go ahead and uh, start taking these bolts off that hold the grill on and uh, see where all it takes us on this absolutely beautiful day that we're having. Okay, I got the grill off. There's a lot more access now. I found this side of the car, which turned out to be the easiest part. I got my bolts back in so I don't go ahead and lose them. 
So we had these two, and then we had this guy right over here, and then there was a couple right down here that was holding the lower grill on. This side was not so easy. This is the side that had the battery tray on it, and these things were pretty rusted up. But I got it off. This grill is not in the greatest of shape. This is the side that was on the, uh, the passenger side. And I believe what it did was it... <laughs> It was welded on somewhere around here, perhaps even right there, to uh, bolt onto the grill, onto the side of the car, I mean. And uh, man, it just popped right off. Here's the other side. That's what it's supposed to look like, right there. So I'm not sure what all I'm gonna do. I may try to TIG it, I'm not, I haven't decided yet, but this grill is in rough shape. I was wondering why this lower piece, it comes off. And I couldn't figure out, I wasn't paying enough attention to figure out why it didn't want to come off. And uh, it was because it was a, uh, it was baling wired on. Yeah. So here's one of them. Someone had baling it on to these, uh, these supports right here. So I think when I put it back on, I'll take some time and I'll see if I can get, uh, get it to where it looks a little bit better. So for right now, there it sits. Now that we have a whole bunch more room to get in and out of this thing. There's a few more things I want to take off. These old strut braces, these old uh, supports. I want to go ahead and take those off. The humps that I'm referring to are right here. And we're going to need to take those off as well. We're going to have to go ahead and cut. So before we go ahead and start cutting, getting all crazy, I'm going to move the, the old fuel lines because we're never going to be using those. And uh, also we're going to move this brake line that's right in right here. It's going to the uh, passenger side tire so you can see the uh, nut right there I should be able to take that off pretty quick one automatic receding antenna out of the way 